Hi guys, this is your flower girl Shelly. Today I am going to be working with Zinnia and this particular variety is the pink and green Envy which I have my pre-labeled tag right there. And this is what a partial head looks like. And I say partial because these right here is what fell out of this seed head right here. What you're looking for is the very bottom piece that looks kind of like an arrowhead actually. And that is the seed that you want to find out of all this debris and chafe and whatnot. So to get to its true pure seed, I just remove all the extras and just keep the bottom portion there. And that's the true seed there. So let's get I'm going to use this as my little helper here. Scoot that out of the way. And I'll get those too, but I want to show you the breakdown process. So, <clears throat> what I do is I just remove these, just, you know, give it a tug, and then you'll see them coming out. Um, some will break off like okay so see here's one complete seed these broke off inside the seed head which we'll get in a minute here but I just pull all these out just to get rid of all the extras there tap tap okay. and then I'll go back through all of that and extract just the seed but for the rest of them that are lodged still in there I just break this down even further and I go against the way it's growing and this has been drying this was last year's actually or maybe even the year before maybe 2019 probably um, and just do the pull it down the opposite way of the way it's actually growing and it just crumbles it just falls apart real super easy and then what you're left with is a pretty cool skeleton of the seed head I think that's just as interesting and fascinating as the flower itself is, you know, what you end up with when it's all naked. Because some are just gorgeous, I think. I, I'm talking about like the patterns and stuff that's inside that you don't, wouldn't even give it a second to even consider unless you were doing this, I suppose. But... <clears throat> This is a skeleton. This is what's left. And it, you can probably save these. I'm thinking about doing that actually. And creating some kind of craftsy thing, some kind of artsy thing with it. Or, I mean, who knows? When I look at it just like this, I'll show you what my angle was. <laughs> it looks like. A little ballerina you know get about to be picked up by her mom or something her arms are you know held out like she wants to be picked up or something anyway I got a great imagination it just goes all over the place so that's what I see when I look at these <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna set that aside because I think it's darling back to it here so <clears throat> 
I just go ahead and, you know, kind of separate everything out. Oh, I didn't have a little cup next to me here. Oh, yeah, I did. Thought I did. Hold on here. Okay. So here I have a cup with the label that I'm going to actually put the label on right now. So that I know what these are. And then the loose ones, the ones that are already broken off, I just automatically set in. And I'm going to go ahead and use this little guy as my tool again. And just separate. I mean, it's real simple. Um, what you don't want, you want the, let me tell you what you do want and what you don't want. What you want to look for in all of this are the dark seed so they could look that'll help they could look where to go like this or they can even look like that you want the dark ones though these light ones where'd that go so this one here, it's kind of a, it's still set inside the chafe there. But this one here, <laughs> sucker's moving. This one here is unripe. You don't want that, or you, and you don't want these lighter ones. You want the, the darkest ones that you can find out of your whole spread here. So that's what you look for and go ahead and when you get to this point just break the bottom portion off and that's what you want is that right there. All three of these. Don't get those. Keep these. So these are going to go in the cup. That's identified there. And I'm also going to write down the date on those. And I'm going to use H21 only because H21. H is for harvested, 21 is the year. That's just for my records. That's how I do things. Um, because, like I said, I believe that these seed are from either... I think they were from 2019. I think that this was one that I had numerous, numerous copious amounts of this and um, just decided I'm going to set these aside and and do them another day. Well, two years later, here we are. So anyway, that's how the process is of breaking down the zinnia. Make sure that you label your cup so that you know what you're collecting, especially if you do more than one at a time. And if these spill, well, I, if I'm not done with my whole tray here, plate here, haha, finish your plate, right? I just set the cup on top of it because it's got the label. And if these get blown away or whatever, they're identified. I know what they are. So anyway, that is it for today. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.